Hello, welcome to a new class. I am Shadia, the student of 6th semester BA Functional English in MES Arts and Science College, Patambi. Here, I would like to explain the topic allophones and allophonic variations. It is an important topic in the paper Applied Phonetics of 3rd semester BA Functional English. Let's move to the topic. First of all, we should know about the term phonemes before moving to the topic allophones. Then, what is phonemes? Phonemes are smallest distinctive unit of sounds that distinguishes one word from another. It is the basic elements in the system of language. Do you know how many phonemes are exist in English language? There are 44 phonemes. These 44 phonemes are distinguished into 12 pure vowels, 8 diphthongs and 24 consonants. The phonemes are identified by finding minimal pairs. If so, what is minimal pairs? Minimal pairs are pairs of words which differ from each other only in one sound segment. The contrasting elements in a minimal pair are identified as phonemes. Let me explain the term by using examples. Look to the pair of words fit and sit. When we divide the sounds of it, it will be f, e and t. And in sit, it is s, e and t. There is only one difference in these words. In the first word, the sound is f and in second, it is s. The difference is only in one sound segment. Look to other example, bet and pet. In the first word, it is b and in later, it is p. Hope you understand about phonemes and minimal pairs. Now, let's move to the topic allophones. We have already discussed about the term phonemes. A phoneme can be considered to be a family of sounds. Each phoneme may have a number of variant forms called allophones occurring in different contexts. The allophones of a phoneme have considerable phonetic similarity between them as well as differences and they do not occur in the same phonetic environment. For example, here I take three English voiceless plosive sounds p, t and k. Plosive means the sudden release of air when we produce sounds. Firstly, I take voiceless plosive sound P. Look to the words pin and spin. Can you find any difference when we say these two words? The sound P in pin is aspirated and in spin it is unaspirated. Aspirated means with a strong puff of breath after release of the plosive. And next is voiceless plosive T. Look to the words take and stake. In take, it is aspirated and in stake, it is unaspirated. Same as in the case of voiceless plosive K. Kite and skate. The aspirated and unaspirated varieties of English voiceless plosives P, T, and k are allophones. The aspirated voiceless plosives p, t, and k occur initially in a stressed syllable, whereas the unaspirated voiceless plosives occur immediately after the sound s and in unstressed syllable. The next is dark and clear. It is an important term when we discuss about the topic allophones. The dark L and clear L are two varieties of the sound L. What is dark L and when it is occur? Dark L occurs when it is in the final position of a word or when followed by a consonant sound except E, as in till and girl. The clear L occurs when it is in the initial position of a word or when it is followed by a vowel or semi-vowel E as in leaf and lip. Hope you understand about what are allophones, variant forms of phonemes in English and when it occurs. Thank you for watching.